Hey guys, it's Chief. What's crapping it? Spreadshot Games. Today I'm going to talk about the VGAs and if we actually need them. Stay tuned. So if you guys know, the VGAs aired on Spike a couple weeks ago. Kind of late to this party, but... There's, I wouldn't call it controversy around what the game of the year pick was and whether, like, video game award shows are actually needed. And I've, I've seen some videos on YouTube and stuff. And if you haven't uh, seen or know about it, uh, Telltale Games' The Walking Dead series actually won game of the year, which everybody was kind of surprised that this small episodic, um, you know, downloadable title that came out in five episodes, that very short games, um, could beat other big blockbuster games. And to some people, you know, they thought it was kind of a travesty, and other people were just kind of like, yeah, look at the little guy, like, beating out all those, you know, huge budget games and stuff like that. And I don't, I personally don't fall on either side of that fence. Um... If you noticed, I bought the Walking Dead uh, Collector's Edition on the shelf back there. I'm going to start playing that this weekend now that I'm off uh, school and everything. But do I think it should have won, even though I haven't played it? Not really. And do I think a bigger budget title like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Halo 4, Borderlands 2, Mass Effect 3 should have won not necessarily that's what this whole video is about i don't think we really need a video game award show um i wouldn't say it's a scheme or anything but i think it's just a big way to rally in a bunch of views for gaming websites spike tv um it's just it's this big party like and that's the thing us as gamers, like, we don't... I don't know anybody who looks forward to Game of the Year. Maybe you look forward to Game of the Year for a game that you think deserves Game of the Year. Like, if you really like Skyrim and it won Game of the Year or something like that, you know, that kind of justifies your liking of it. I think us as gamers, we look to that. Um, but other than that, I don't think anybody's looking forward to Samuel L. Jackson making stupid-ass jokes and talking about Twitter and stuff. I just, I don't at all. I don't think anybody looks forward to Jessica Alba introducing uh, Dark Souls 2 or anything like that on television. You know, maybe, maybe, I think a lot of the gamer crowd is like nerdy and naive and it's just like, oh, look at Jessica Alba's on television talking about video games. Fuck that. You know, do we really need that? I don't think so, because I don't think a lot of us, we either take it to heart to justify the games we like, or we use it to rant about stuff that won that we didn't want to win. And it seems like all major websites and stuff are, they, they play it safe with these games of the year. It seems like they don't really pick a game among the editing staff that like they truly liked. It seems like they pick a game that's not bad by any means. And none of the games that won were bad. Everything that nominated, that's the thing that I want to get across. Like, all the games were good and stuff, which is the reason why I'm just like, why pick a best game? Like, they're all great. Just, like, just have a show and be like, yo, this shit was good in 2012. Pah! And just show everything. That's all you need. Like, you don't need a best this, best that. Here's a list. Top ten, blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit. Like, it's just like, here's some great games. Let's celebrate the good games that came out and stuff. And I'm going to plan on making a video of doing stuff that I personally liked this year. That's just me. It's not going to be a top ten list of, you know, Born Stellar's fucking greatest games of Xbox Live 2012. It's just going to be stuff. Stuff I liked this year. I mean, why can't we do that? It's just, you know, everybody's obsessed with this, like, this list stuff. And it's just... It gets ridiculous, and it overshadows how good stuff is. And then I think for especially a game like Walking Dead, 
puts it on this pedestal that's it's like this ungodly immaculate great thing um you know like telltale games did a good job and everything like that but when i when i saw him accept the word i was like telltale games telltale games you mean those guys that made that shitty fucking Jurassic Park game? Those guys? And they're getting raved at this amazing developer? Which, they did a great job. Like I said, it's a great game. Um, obviously. I can't wait to play it. But, like, you know, every, everybody's got, like, that redheaded stepchild that they'd rather sweep under the rug. And as much as, much as Walking Dead did for Walking Dead fans, the game did... The Jurassic Park game did the exact opposite for Jurassic Park fans. It was fucking god-awful. But it just seems like these big websites, television channels, stuff like that, they don't really name what's their favorite. They'll have, like, an editor's list of stuff we liked and everything. But the game that the website or channel names as Game of the Year, it just seems like they play it safe because they don't want to pick something that's going to make everybody rage and hate and fuck this IGN, I'm never coming back because you gave Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Game of the Year, that's such an overrated da 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 So what do they do? They did what they, you know, they did what they did last year. Portal 2, Game of the Year. Seriously? Portal fucking 2, Game of the Year? Again, Portal 2, great game and stuff, but out of all the stuff that came out last year, like, again, and maybe it is, like, it's just something that I mean, maybe that's the best thing to call Game of the Year, the one game that everybody kind of sits down and it's just like, well, I really like this. Like, that was my favorite game. And then, like, you know, maybe everybody makes a list and, like, it's just kind of like, well, what's on everybody's list? It's just like, you know what? Everybody seemed to like Portal 2. You want to make that Game of the Year? Sure. But, you know, I know everybody last year was expecting Skyrim, Gears of War 3, uh, Skyward Sword came out last year, stuff like that. And, like... And it's all this stuff, and then, like, you know, they just pull a fast one. It's just like, uh, Portal 2, didn't want to upset anybody. You know, and everybody kind of sits back, and they're like, what, my favorite game didn't win? Well, Portal 2 is pretty good, so. I mean, maybe that's good because everybody's at peace, but it just seems like big things play it safe so they don't piss a lot of people off, which I think's a kind of pussy move. You know, just, just name what you like. I think the editor's thing is good enough because... Like, if you're an editor or a channel and you just go to people, it's just like, name some games you like this year, you know? Maybe that throws games out that you didn't know about that came out that year, and to pick up and play. And that way, everybody wins with good games that we can all play. But we're obsessed with this list culture, best of the best, da-da-da-da-da, Call of Duty's better than Halo, Halo's better than Call of Duty, sales numbers, all this crazy stuff that... Is so meaningless at the end because video games are such a diverse thing that it's hard to compare Walking Dead to Borderlands 2. Like, they're both great games, but what the fuck's in Walking Dead that makes it better than Borderlands 2? What the hell's in Borderlands 2 that makes it better than Walking Dead to be called the best game of the year? I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't think anybody else knows, and that's why I think the video game awards are just a high production thing to, you know, show off and have DJs and light up bracelets and fucking celebrities and stuff just come in there and be like, I talk about games, I'm going to, I don't, it's just a bunch of, it's a bunch of hype. And I hear this, you know, I hear, it seems like nerd culture is just going in a very commercialized way. And I hate saying that what the fuck is that but like like comic con is all about you know behind closed doors stuff and everything now it's just getting ridiculous that like and the thing is, is us as a community we we eat it up and everything and i think games like portal 2 and walking dead and stuff get chosen because even though maybe call of duty and stuff has the sales numbers and everything and Maybe that game's not super great, but it does what it does, and it does it pretty decent. That's why it sells good. Um, I wouldn't call it the best game in the world. I haven't played that damn game either. But everybody's kind of got their thing, and I think the people who bitch about 
the big budget games and stuff like that. Obviously, they're a minority because if they're complaining about it, the game's still selling great. And I'm in that minority that kind of complains about bigger budget games and how they need to get back and just making a better streamlined experience because tons of money and Trent Reznor writing your, you know, music is, doesn't make the game great and stuff. It's cool, but it doesn't make the game great. Um, and I think the people that complain about that uh, were very loud, but we're the minority. So since we're loud, we get heard. And I think that's why games like Portal 2 and Walking Dead get picked. Because it's just like, oh, we don't want to look like we're just in it for the big guy. Because gamers are getting fed up with big budget games and stuff like that. And, you know, and we just, need to, we just need to take a step back and like what we like. And try to share it with other people, other video game enthusiasts. And if they don't want to play it, they don't want to play it. You're not going to change anybody's mind. Don't, like, don't act like it's a travesty that good games don't get played. You know, you played it, share it with someone else. If they don't want to play it, they don't want to play it. Like, this isn't, like, you're not a warden in a prison forcing people to do stuff that you want to do. Like, just like what you like, play the damn games, suggest it and stuff like that, but don't be, you know, quit feeling like your games are getting shit on because they don't make as much money as Call of Duty. You know... A great game is a great game, and it's such a diverse culture that it's hard to compare great games with each other to say, this is the end-all, be-all, best game that was made in a year time span. And we just need to accept that. And just keep playing. 